How you doing? My name is Kevin Lai. I'm a customer support manager here at Run Sign Up Give Sign Up, and we're here at the Morristown Running Company doing packet pickup for the Scott Coffee Run. And today I'm going to show you how to run an efficient packet pickup. So let's come on in and see how it's done. We view ourselves in partnership with our customers. We're successful when you're all successful. Our job is to basically build technology that all of our customers can benefit from. So here we have our packet pickup setup. We have Allison Kerrigan, Dave Hunt helping us out today. So today we are doing dynamic bib assignment. And what we've already done here is we've already pre-chipped our bibs with the chips. So it's all set for the participants to take. So what exactly is dynamic bib assignment? Dynamic bib assignment is when we assign bibs as participants come in and pick up their packets. The perks of dynamic bib assignment is that it saves time, so you don't have to pre-assign packets, and when participants come and pick up their packets, you don't have to try to find the specific number for the specific participant. So you can grab the next bib that's on top of the pile and assign that bib number straight to the next participant. So here we have our extra bibs. So once the bibs on the table, once we reach the end of the pile for the bibs on the table, we can come in here and grab the next set of bibs. So what we've done here is for each file folder, we've labeled the specific range. This makes life a lot easier. Once the pile on our packet pickup table, once we reach the end of that pile, we can simply come in here, find the corresponding range that comes next and can just pull the bibs out quickly and easily. So once the next pile ends, we know we can come in here and come to the 1251 and we can start fresh from 1251. Again, these bibs too have also been pre-chipped, so they are ready to go. So all we gotta do is come into this box and pull the next set of bibs and we are all set. So another thing that we also like to do, again, to save time and make life a lot easier is we will pin four pins together so that participants can simply come in here and grab pins if they need pins. A lot of seasoned runners, they've got plenty of these at home, so not all participants want to have them. So we don't necessarily like to attach them directly to the bib. We like to pin four together, and if the participant needs to, they can just simply come in and grab four pins. So here we have our shirts that we give to all of our participants. Each box is labeled for the appropriate shirt size that are in each box. And we put it right behind our volunteer so that it's easy for them to come in and just simply grab a shirt and hand it right to the next participant. And here we have socks. For the Scott Coffee Run, groups that are over 20, they each get a pair of socks. They are separated by sizes, so again, we're all about being efficient. So we have them right on the side of the table, again, make it easy for our volunteers to grab and hand out to participants. So one of the things that Run Sign Up has to help the packet pickup process be as smooth as possible is we have what we call the check-in app. So with the check-in app, you can view and search for participants. You can check participants in, you can assign participants a bib number, and you can also view any groups that they're part of or change any giveaway options if you need to. Within the check-in app, what you can do is you can search for a participant's last name simply by clicking into the search bar and typing in their last name. The participant will automatically populate if it finds a match. And from there, you can click check in and then we can assign the participant a bib number. And once we hit assign, we can save and continue. And on the last screen, you can also see the t-shirt size that we need to give this particular participant.
So now we're going to take a look at how this all looks in real time with a real participant. So here we have a real participant and not a paid actor who's here to pick up his bib and get his t-shirt for the Scott Coffee Run. Hi, how are you doing today? Great, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Checking in, what's your last name? Bickle. So here the participant provides the last name to Allison. Allison comes into the app and searches for the last name Bickle. The participant then pops up. She then clicks check in. She pulls the next bib number from the top of the pile and will assign 1651 to the participant Bob Bickle. She'll then pull the t corresponding t-shirt size for Bob, which in this case is a large, and then hands the t-shirt and the bib over the participant. And the participant here can then grab the pins that he needs and he's all set. A tip that we have is if one participant is coming in to check in multiple people, is we like to write the names of the participant on the back of the corresponding bib. That way, when the participant goes home or sees their friends and family and they're handing out the bibs to the participants, they know that 1250 belongs to Tim, 1251 belongs to Jessica. This is a good way to make sure your participants have a good experience and have the right bib. So there you have it. Now you've seen how to run a quick and efficient packet pickup, and now you can go do it yourself. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to the channel.